Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 21st of 2019. Well, it is titled a Mercury Transit Music Video from the SDO. So what do we see here? Well, a number of images taken from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. And you'll get to see them in a video form here. Now the music will not be played in my version here, you get to hear me talk instead. So if you want to go to the actual APOD website, you can play it without my voice, but with the actual music that was put together with this. Now what this is, is a transit is when a planet or other object passes in front of the sun or a star, for example. So we hear of transits in terms of exoplanets. When we discover planets outside our solar system, we sometimes do so when the planet passes in front of its star. And that's what we're going to see here. Now the video will run about two minutes. So we'll want to go ahead and get it started here. And this is from the transit from May the 9th of 2016. And you'll see Mercury is the dark shape in front of the sun and as it passes quickly in front of the sun. Now you can see it's a nice solid disk, no atmosphere or haziness around it because Mercury is just a solid uh, ball of rock and metal uh, like our moon, except that Mercury is more higher, much higher metal content than our moon. And you'll see that it moves very quickly. Now a planet can transit the sun if it happens to be between us and the sun and there are only two planets in the solar system that meet this criteria. And that would be Mercury that we see here and Venus. Uh, those are the only two planets that can transit the sun as seen from Earth. However, if you were further out in the solar system, you could see more objects. If you were out at Jupiter, for example, you could see Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars transit the sun. And they would look somewhat similar to what you see here. And we can also see a great deal of detail in the surface of the sun. We're looking at images, uh, some of them are visible light images, which are the yellower ones and the other ones, some of the odd colored, more odd colored ones are actually ultraviolet images taken in different in wavelengths of the ultraviolet to be able to study the sun. And around the sun, we can see uh, various uh, activity on the surface. Uh, little prominences material welling up and following curved arcs of the magnetic field as it moves along. So that's not something specifically associated with the transit but is associated with the activity of the sun and as Mercury leaves you get to see one more kind of as it passes almost through a little prominence on the edge of the sun. So how often do these occur? Well the next one is coming up in just a few weeks and in order to view a uh, a transit you have to use the same safety features you need to view an eclipse you don't want to stare directly at the sun uh, for in any case so you would need special equipment to be able to filter out the harmful light from the sun to be able to see the uh, the, the transit but that one is coming up in just a few more weeks and would look somewhat similar to what we were able to see here today so that was our picture of the day for October the 21st of 2019. It was titled a Mercury Transit Music Video from SDO. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be sky mere sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.